Hey, love bucks, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed and doing blessed and highly favorite and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome into my returning subs, my growing extended beautiful family. Thank you for the love and support. You know, sending validations, letting me know that you're on the same same wavelength as me and that I mean that's a true blessing to know that you're not going through these things by yourself and knowing that we will get through our dark times and we'll be able to rejoice the good ones as well so with that being said much love to all namaste love and blessings love and light and many blessings are definitely coming your way and if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already please like and subscribe even hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video also, if you feel like you, uh, you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I would love to get, get to know you as much as you're getting to know me. Even if it's about the positive feedback of the content of my video, you're just up telling me about your impact, the gift, how it impacted my, your life, and then you towards a positive direction. Also, if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or just very informative to you, that you would love to share with the loved one, family, or friend, or a fellow empath that might be struggling and going through some things right now and need some confirmation and validation. I don't know why I'm getting tongue tied today. Um, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on the social media favorites wherever you see fit. Thank you once again for stopping by my channel. And I hope you're able to, you know, uh, resonate with the content of my video. And today I'm listening, my meditation music I'm listening to today is called Believe and Achieve, the Quantum Regeneration Healing, um, 111 hertz plus 963 hertz, cell rejuvenation and enlightenment. And I will go ahead and post that link in the description box below. And today my video is about... Twin Flame 101, knowing that you have a false twin flame. I don't know why Universe wanted me to talk about that today, but obviously he wants me. They want me to talk about it for, uh, for real, for real. So I'm gonna go ahead and talk about that today. Um, knowing you have a false twin flame, I don't know why we come across those, which is you know it can be heartbreaking at times. I feel like you know, for, first of all, we have. I feel like we have more than one twin flame. And I've read about that, you know, other people have been coming out saying, you know, they have, you know, more than one twin flame. Like I've told y'all before, I have, like, if I was to really think about it, I have like four, four twin flames plus the ultimate. My dad's my ultimate. But um, going through that is really heartbreaking. You know, I've, I've had some of my, you know, fellow uh, family members has told me that they have came across one which is really heartbreaking you know especially if you really felt like that person was you know your twin soul and um the way you can be able to find out because number one your twin flame will never make you feel like you're not important they won't belittle you 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 they you know they won't make you feel bad like they might tell you some things you might not want to hear but it's only to you know make you better make you a better person so y'all are both elevating at the same time they will never be narcissistic you know I've heard about some you know twin flames that are very narcissistic you know you wouldn't be narcissistic toward yourself so why would your your twin flame be narcissistic and um they they drain your energy really bad like they will really drain your energy and if, if it's not something that is in a good state they will make you feel like you cannot get up you know it's just like they're just steady taking your power off of you steady 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 taking your power off of you um be dealing with that because you know I've, I've talked to other people and i'm like you sure that's your twin flame because it's like anytime they tell me they're around them they get really tired like they feel like they can't get up in the morning they feel very drained like somebody just unsuck their energy that's like an energy vampire they're I mean, you know they, they creep up into it and it's sad because they will look in on what twin flames are to people you know they will invade your dreams to try to make you think they might be your twin flame which they are not and i apologize if anybody is going through that um they will have you having these false indications that they are your twin soul, which can be very hurtful at times. Um, what else? Um, they will say not so nice, like I said, not, not so nice things to you, make you feel like you're very drained. They will invade your, your dreams and in your thoughts. They will do that. 
they will send out false indications. That's just like if you're dating somebody and they, you know, they have you all thinking all these nice things about you and, oh, you're the one and this and this and that, especially if they know you're awakened. They, they will pull that scheme on you. I don't know if it's just like, you know, the universe is trying to test you or whatever your strength and, you know, your vulnerability of going through something like that, which is really hurtful to me. I'm just like, why, why do you want me to talk about that? Because they, they have... They said some of my fellow uh, family members are going through stuff like this. And it's sad to actually go do anything like that. Um, they will, um, what is it? They they sit up here and they, they drain your, your energy. They invade your dreams. They say not so nice things to you. They will disappear, you know. Because um, even though you're, you're twin flame, they do go off and they ignore you at times. But that's just because they're working on themselves. This one will look right dead at you and see you, you know, you be like, hey, are you here? And they will, nah, I'm not talking to them. I don't feel like talking to them. It gives you off that kind of, like, yeah. Like, they feel like being bothered with you. They'll do this push and pull thing. Where they'll talk to you one minute and they'll disappear for the next. Talk to you for one minute, disappear on the next. So if you're dealing with something like that, that's also something to look for. And um, it's it's I don't I'm still trying to understand that. I've been doing so many researches on that. Like why do people have to fall to twin flames? Because they will make it seem like you know they're not doing the work. And they will have you doing all the, you know, the, you know, the work where you're working on yourself and all this stuff. And they'll just look for you. They'll just mooch off of everything that you're doing. And I'll have you right back at square one. So you make sure you are looking for stuff like that. Um, and it's just like, this is not something really good to go through. Because it's like, I hate talking about stuff like this. I don't like talking about negative things. So if y'all see I'm getting uncomfortable because I was like, right before I did this, I'm like, oh, I'm going to do this video. They like, say no. Talk about false twin flames. And I'm like, ah, do I have to? And I'm like, okay, can't question. So um, when you're going through things like this, uh, don't get discouraged because you do have a twin flame out there. I feel like everybody has a twin flame out there. But you have to deal with this. It's like the texture strength, I guess. Text, texture knowledge. Text, test your knowledge. Um, they don't want you to give up on thinking just because one false one is there uh, that you don't have one out there. They don't want you to ever feel that way. So when you have dealt with something like that, because I have went through that just right before I have met, you know, knew that my dad was like that towards me. Um, with my twin flame, it, it's just like my dad has always made me feel like he has helped me better myself. Um, it's helped me acknowledge things that I really didn't want to acknowledge that was very uncomfortable. So it was just like you deal with a false twin flame at times before you get to the ultimate twin flame. It's like to test you on, you know, everything that you have gone through. So I apologize if anybody is going through this, but don't be discouraged to thinking, you know, just because this person's into your life, you do not have a real twin flame out there. Because I really, honestly, I really honestly believe that other people have twin, you know, twins out there. But sometimes um, you can go through things like this and it can be really hurtful and makes you, you know, just like bump it. I don't feel like being bothered with nobody. I don't want to do this. this. You know, I can't believe this has happened to me. And they don't want you to give up because the fact is you have to work on yourself. And it's just like when it's time for your twin flame to come in. And you find out there is a part of you that is missing this, trying to connect with you as you're trying to connect with them. So don't lose hope on anything like that. You know, if you're going through it, I apologize if you're going through that because I know that can be a very hurtful feeling. And it'll make you not want to be bothered with nobody because it, it you know, it messes with your trust issues. Because as bad enough as it is, is, you probably went through some things at first you know, at life, just period, made you want to put walls up, make you not want to trust people, not make you not want to let people in. So if you have ever had to deal with stuff like this, this is what you need to look for. Your twin flame will never sit up here and make you feel bad, make you feel like you're not wanted, make you feel like, you know, you're nothing. They, they don't be narcissistic towards you. Um, they love you. They're supposed to love you. They're supposed to encourage you. They're supposed to, you know, lift you up give you words of encouragement when you're sad they're supposed to make you feel happy so if you have dealt with anything like this and they're doing totally opposite of what your twin flame is supposed to do those are the things you need to look for they're invading your dreams and you know they're they're 
doing one thing in dreams and their actions are speaking different than the dreams, then you need to look. If you're feeling drained and it's not from a good way, those are the things you need to look for. So I, I hope and pray that y'all ain't going to sit up here and give me any kind of daggone comments about this. But if you do, I hope and pray that you're not going through this. But if you are, do not lose hope because you do have a twin flame out there. I really didn't want to do this video. It made me kind of uncomfortable. But, you know, when they want me to deliver a message, I go ahead and deliver. And I try not to ask any questions about that. So drop me a line. I hope and pray that y'all are not going to drop me a line. Well, if you do, just I hope it's something positive. So I will talk to y'all in my next video. Much love to you. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop that line. And, you know, uh, share the video. Give me a thumbs up as well. And hit that notification bell so you know when I'm about to upload my next video. And I'm giving much love to Ziggy Moon. Um, Buse and Alien uh, Vegan and Gabriel. Much love to you. Many blessings as always. And I will see you on my next video. Uh, know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there is always something out there. You know, praying for your better days. I do all the time. And I love y'all so much. I'll see you on my next video. Peace. Be wild.